Every other week, I travel to a town called Jamestown, about an hour north of where I'm at, to serve at a ministry called Civil Air Patrol. It is an Air Force um, auxiliary, like an ROTC, but I go there as a chaplain. It's such an honor and blessing to be able to pour out into this young men and women called to leadership. I resonate with their calling. I always go and leave blessed, but every uh, month I teach what is called character development. It's essentially a leadership lesson. And a couple of weeks ago, I taught a lesson on gratitude. And it talks about gratitude is not just feeling of uh, happiness or joy or even thankfulness, but it really is about an attitude. Attitude choosing too grateful, to be grateful, choosing to thank people, even in the midst of tragedies and trials and struggles. Are you being grateful today? I am choosing to be grateful in every season, no matter what ups and downs I may be experiencing, God is still good after all. And to be grateful is actually biblical. You all know this famous passage coming from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. And I love this passage. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Wouldn't that be awesome if this verse didn't say always? Because then we can pick and choose. You know, I had a pretty stressful day at work or with the family, with friends. You understand, God, that I'm not joyful today. I'm not rejoicing. That's not the, what the scripture says. It says rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances. Friends, I don't know what kind of circumstance you're going through right now and what kind of trials you're facing, but can we try to choose to be grateful? There's a little exercise, like if you get a little notepad and think about a person that you're most grateful for, somebody who impacted your life the most. Jot down the descriptions about that person, the characteristic and what it is that person impacted, how that person impacted your life. And after you wrote it, this is my challenge to you. Call that person up and just read that little note to them. This is actually an idea that I got from one of the YouTube videos on gratitude. And it's such a great exercise because sometimes we can feel gratitude, but to express it, it's kind of challenging. But here's a scientific fact about expressing gratitude. It impacts your level of happiness and your joy. So do you want to be a more joyful person today? Then express your gratitude. I want to leave with you a quote from John F. Kennedy about gratitude. And he said, uh, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. So friends, I encourage you to live by the gratitude. Don't be discouraged and live by it. God bless you. Trinity loves you and supports you.